Folks, I'm here today at Retro Rick's Game Point in Conway, Arkansas. This is literally the best video game store in the entire state, and today we're going inside to figure out what the heck makes this place so special. That is, if we're actually able to find the owner. 15, 15, 15 dollars credit. What the heck? 12 dollars cash. Rick, Rick, wake up. Wake up, he fell asleep on the job. He, thinks, he, he thinks he's making money right now. No, dude, sorry, it's just me. Stack of wheeze. <laughs> So man, as we start to take a little turn around the store here, you gotta let me know, like, how the heck did you go from being a retro games YouTuber with a full-time job, yep, and this was yep. just your local store, to actually literally owning this place? Very, very easy. Not how people might have thought I got it. Okay. Basically walked in, known the owners forever. Uh -huh. They were looking at potentially getting out of this. They have multiple businesses. Right. And they, uh, I walked in one day and they're like, hey, Rick, uh, I know you do YouTube. What do you think about buying this store from us? You must be loaded with cash. <laughs> I, I, I you just have that look about you. I am not. And, oh my gosh, and, dude. You know, me and my wife, we, we looked at it, we ran all the numbers, and after about three months of kind of deciding, we yeah. were like, let's, let's roll, and we did it. That's Crazy. incredible. I love how like in this entry area, you have all of these like just statues everywhere. It's like impossible to miss. What's the most expensive statue in this store? Ooh. Expensive? Yeah. Big man. Okay, but that yep. came with the place, right? It came with it, yeah. So it, how it much was, did they price it as? So they priced this at 20 grand. Okay. It's signed by Stan Lee. It's got Are a certificate. Are you serious? It's got oh a certificate. Gosh. I got a certificate. What'd they it. pay for it? You I think 20 also? I don't think they paid that much for it. But it, it's worth it. I've, I've already been offered yeah. that. Yeah. I've already been offered that. But it, it's, wow. I mean, it's already high. So this is tall. And then he's over nine feet. Yeah. So he's, it's, it's huge. He's got some pecs on him too. Damn. Yeah. Oh man. So tell me like when you got in here, obviously this was your favorite local store. Yeah. But what was some of the stuff that you were like, I kind of want to change that. That's like one of the first things that like I'm going to do once yeah. I run this place. Uh, well, so more than anything, just make it more of me. Yeah. Which is very much like the colorful. 80s, 90s, kind of like the nostalgic, the nostalgia, feel. but like yeah. almost organized chaos. Do you have any lives. idea at this point how much of your sales is actually like video games versus miscellaneous collectibles? Yes, we did. We ran some numbers recently. Uh, video games is like. 70 percent uh -huh. it's very high very high well, okay so it's just a just a i mean a modest 30 percent of all the other miscellaneous yeah. stuff i literally bought this from you yesterday yeah shall we head over to your t-shirt section because that's something that i don't know if i know of another retro game store outside of retro games plus in california that also yeah. does shirts yeah definitely so naturally in my greedy, scroogey mind, my first question is, yes, yes. what is the most expensive or most profitable shirt you have ever flipped? Uh, so, very new, very new to the shirt game. Okay. We've had shirts in the store for like, maybe two to three months. These, this is like my favorite, like the NASCAR with the mix. Yeah, There's like you've got the McDonald's one up there, yes, I like there's that. A, there's a, a couple Harley ones that are like Thor, uh -huh. like Harley, Thor, Marvel all mixed. I did I did have a, a video game tee that I bought for like 20 bucks at uh -huh. a, like a random sale and I sold it for like three, 400 bucks. So the margins are insane. On Those are some bucks, nice margins. But they sit for a long time. Really? They sit for a long time. Well, yeah. luckily I came in and bought three all over prints just this weekend, so you're welcome. Ooh, that's a nice one. I also, I, honestly, I don't like that one that much. I take it back. I used to have nightmares about Darth Maul though. You used to make fun of me, you're like, With hey, the shirts? you still wearing old Navy shirts? Uh, oh no, yeah, old, yeah, old yeah. Navy yeah. video game shirts? Yeah, 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 <laughs> the like $4 clearance. $4, more like 12. <laughs> So man, this is another thing that I don't often see at game stores, probably more often than shirts, but like, tell me like, what did these arcade machines run you and how much do you feel like they contribute to the environment of the store? Yeah, so I think that's probably the key word is environment. Yeah. I, I did not want this to just be another game store. Mm -hmm. Like where you walk in, pick up a game and you're gone in four minutes. Yeah. Like people spend hour, two hours in here looking at all the different things. Mm -hmm. So I wanted this to be an experience. So this is cool to have this where it's all, they're all in free play. Yeah. Cause it's actually crazy expensive. You so have to you're pay, not making any money on no, this. No, you have to pay per machine. Yeah. Like, and it's an astronomical number. So I'm like, ah, this is be free play. Sure. And it'd be, but I got this, I got this for like, 500 bucks. Oh my gosh. For like 3,500, 3,000. That's amazing. I got a really, really good deal. Well, I'm deal glad if it's not making you money, at least you made yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, at least you got a good deal on it. 
Tell me this, what do you think is the single most expensive item outside of that statue? Expensive or rare item in the whole mm, store? So not statues. Well, a guy right now, the guy in, the guy right over there, uh -huh. ponytail, uh -huh. he's buying Snatcher right now for $1,400. Cha-ching! It's called investment. I paid a lot for it. <laughs> Congratulations, dude. What did you pay? I think I paid $750 to $800 for that. To only make what's but, the What's the logic behind that? Why would you pay, like, so much? Because. Again, my greedy mind, Stunt, I'm like, you? okay, you've got overhead, you've got employees, you've got all of yeah. these expenses that are adding up. Because so why, why are you creeping up and up with your prices on stuff like that? It depends on what it is. Think about how many $10 games I have to sell to make $600. Right. Like 600 bucks in one go. You so know? you're telling me it's not just about the percentage margin, it's also about the dollar amount per flip. Yeah, that's what I've been telling you guys. Come on, you gotta listen to me. Wait, you say that? Never mind. <laughs> Retracted. <laughs> so man, one of the biggest statement pieces besides the statues in the store has to be this massive backsplash with your new mascot bits. Yep. In almost every other store that I see, this real estate, this is prime Ooh. real estate, right? They're putting expensive stuff up here, accessories, fast yeah. sellers. Why didn't you do that? So I did. Okay. We had stuff and I actually had a design company, a retail design company come in and they said, you've got to change that wall because every single wall was retail space. Uh -huh. And you, with the space, so this is super large. Like yeah. most, most it's all aren't flat this, wall, yeah, most products hanging aren't up big. everywhere. So when they walked in and they saw stuff everywhere, they were like, where do you look? Like, where do you look? Where is there a breath? Yeah. And then also, where does it say where I'm at? What an Honestly. ugly, ugly design. <laughs> So dude, what the heck is this? And how the heck do I earn a spin? Spend twenty dollars in the store, spin the wheel, win free stuff. Oh geez, so if I spent like three K in credit yesterday, how many spins is that? <laughs> Alright man. Thank God! But is that 150 spins? Christina says one spin. Woo Christina, you're gonna one. do me like that? Okay, one. well hey, I'll do while I'm spin <laughs> Wow! Danger! <laughs> Danger zone! Turtles have to train Cast him out. <laughs> Ban! Ban! Ban from the store. Ban from the store. Let's give let's give another reason why I want the store to feel different and like a experience destination. Uh -huh. Is I want every time. So this is. <gasps> you got a plush? Let's go, dude! I could have gotten stuck with a sticker and I got a plush. Come on, dude, baby. You stuck with I actually think that's the best thing you could win. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, broken. I actually got a plush last time I was here. I got a hair across. This is so thrilling. Spread Eagle, I choose you. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of feeling this Machop. He's a little bit derpy, but. Oh, that's a good these one. These are, hey Rick, these are made in the USA, right? Yes, 100%. Awesome. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Wait a second, why is there Chinese on this tag? <laughs> Okay, so a little bit later on, I want to get into your Switch section because unfortunately I've been neglecting Mission Switch a little bit. Sorry for you Switch fans. But this is another thing that is very distinctive. I see no video game stores with like basically museum displays. Yeah. Can you walk me through these and like what each of them means? Yeah, so first one is Mario in the 80s. Uh -huh. and what's actually really cool about these two is we switch these out every couple months. So you can't steal any of it either. I wanted a Skittle. Yeah. Are those sorry. from the 80s? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Mario in the 80s, Space Jam. They're all different ones. Yeah, yeah. We switch these out every couple months. Okay. Because as I was so rudely interrupted earlier, whenever you ran over to the Pokemon plush, I didn't <laughs> finish my thought. I was of, so excited. So we do different sales, do different games. I want people to walk in and never know what's going to happen. Yeah, That's yeah. That's kind of my thought. So it's like they come in, they don't know what game there might be. They don't know what's going to be in the museum pieces. Uh -huh. So I, I fortunately have a large collection of just random crap that I put different things. Maybe one time it's Home Alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time it's, you know, whatever. So It's a distinct um, feature. Yeah, so I just like it again. If people are traveling in from different places. Who created that meme, by the way? I like that. Oh, really? Um, actually, Riff created the meme. For my son! Given all the uh, free press that you're getting from this video, can I have a free chip here? Come on now. Yeah, man, free Here plush. we go. So free chip. as this is going down, tell me, like, what is this? So same kind of thing, man. There are times where 10 bucks. Oh. Redo that one. Here we go. Okay, this is the real one. This is for real. One more. First time the charm. Here we go. Come on. Took them on to get... Okay. Be honest with me, is this rigged? So different game too, like there'll be times where it's like, hey, you're the 20th customer. 
go uh, play some Plinko. So just do, we do different stuff like that. There's just like there's so many little games yeah. in the store to I just like, like be entertained and like buy more stuff and have fun. I love that. So you visit. Uh -huh. I mean, at this point, probably over 100 game stores or more. I have to imagine, yeah. What is it about this store that you are seeing in particular that you think is unique or yeah. that you specifically like? So one of my favorite things that we haven't talked about yet is the packaging that you have for your oh, okay. action figures. Sweet. Custom packaging, and it's not just this. There are yeah. a whole bunch of different designs for Wrestling. different franchises. You've basically created like a collectible just in the packaging yeah. of the collectibles. I think that's fantastic. I wanted to quiz you. Do you know how many designs, different Retro Ricks designs you have on your packaging? I think we have like eight to 10. That's ish. that's exactly right. I counted nine or 10. We'll get some shots oh, of okay. them later Sweet. and show people. How many can you name? Ghostbusters, TMNT, Power Rangers, Marvel, DC, oh, Wrestling, X-Men, uh -huh. Beanie Babies. Yes, yeah. my favorite. Beanie Babies. Look right at Beanie that. Babies one. Look at that. <laughs> that's well, incredible. And what's cool is these are literally unique to the store too, but I had a guy make those. Really? Like he literally drew those out and then did, yeah, did those. Inc I love this. This like reminds me of almost like a Disney World kind of oh, attention cool. to detail. So I love this about the store, man. Me too. Here I am, doing everything I can. Living all the Superman, that is just I can. Trying to keep my head on my feet. <laughs> Getting lots of views, making lots of money. <laughs> so, here at Phoenix Resale, we are very money positive. Some people are body positive, we're money positive. Money! So what yeah. can you tell me about the kind of numbers this store is doing? Hey, I'll say this. We, okay. were, we were kind of talking about this, and you may not want me to reveal this. It's like, dude, would you ever want to have a store? And you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm open to it. The thing is, kind of freaks me out is the outgo. Yeah, that's what I said. And that is freaky to me. The overhead. Especially like last month, I'll, I'll just say it, we spent $130,000 in overhead. Now you are <laughs> opening though. There's a lot of stuff that's changing. You're making yes, things the way that you true. want. That's so it, it will likely level off yeah. lower than that. But yes, it, it definitely will. But um, yeah, the store is doing great. It's in the green. What's like the most expensive single collection you've ever purchased? I bought one last month that was worth Almost 60 grand, 60, 65 grand. Uh huh. And I bought it. We had, we made, we came to an agreement of just under like 50, 45 percent. Yeah. And I'm about to buy a hundred twenty thousand dollar collection next month. Dang it! He's shattering my record, folks. I've got to work harder, make more money. <laughs> All right, man. So where are we now? What is this space? This is the, not the warehouse area. This uh -huh. is like where we are processing games. We have, um, you know, we'll get trade-ins. People kind of have their stations cleaning. Yeah. Is this uh, like empty cases? These are all empty cases. But then, so basically we get the games, we process them, and then over here, we have the games, games that need to be cleaned. Nice. We'll throw them into nice one of our- empty shelf. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about this big boy though. That's that's the big one. This is like the ultimate video game reseller status symbol. This is like a <laughs> like a Cadillac well, back here. And I, it was really hard for me to pull the trigger because like you are uh, conscious about profits and things like that. Exactly. I'm conscious about spending. Uh -huh. Like ultimate, like ultimate, ultimate level. Like I'm just, I'm so cheap. Yeah. But this has basically become a employee. Exactly. That's how they this, market it too. Yeah. Because this was literally you have to come back. Each disc takes about four ish minutes, five minutes but then you have to remember to come back and put another game in. And this, for you guys' information, this is the level that I'm at right now. I thought spending $4,000 on this machine yeah. was a lot. I was like, oh wow, that's a big business expense. <laughs> but is. hit me with what you spent on this guy. 25,000. So we didn't say, this does 50. You set it. This one does, yeah. And you forget it. So you put 50 discs in, you set, hit start, and then you walk away. Two hours later, they're all done. Yeah, this one for me, this is like half of Spanky's job. It's going one at a time. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> you're talking about uh, literally cranking out, cranking out, you know, yeah. 200 discs a day and it taking, you, you load it. That's all you have right. to do. So. Well, man, maybe one day I'll, I'll be on this eco master level. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. I love it. So man, I saw you have a good number stocked of these Zelda Special Edition OLED switches. Mm. I have to ask, have you ever heard of the Zeldathon switch? Zeldathon. Zeldathon I have no idea. switch. No recollection. That no memory. does not bode well, folks. All right, man, so I ask this to every game store owner I talk to. What is the best and worst part of owning a game store yeah. that people might not expect? Yeah. Best thing is what comes into the store. 
You just, I mean, yeah. little old Arkansas. Arkansas, Redneck City. The stuff that comes in is crazy. Yeah. Like every single day. We just it's saw wild. that Snatcher. That Snatcher came in. A Jaguar CD came in last week. Like just the stuff that is sitting in people's closets and barns, it's really everywhere. Yeah. And having a store now where it comes into the store, probably my favorite thing. What's the, the hard, hardest part? The hardest part is I care so much that I'm here a lot. Yeah. So like I I, I wanna be here hopefully less in the future, but right now we're still in the beginning stages of like, you know, culture and what how I want things um, to look and things like that. So You're I'm building still, your systems. There's just, just a little care bear here. I just care so much. That it's all right, man, it's gonna be okay. But can I ask you a question? Yeah. What do you think about the store in terms of like, you've been to a lot of game stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where does it, where's it hit your list? Honestly, I would put it right under GameStop. They don't even have games there anymore. <laughs> All right, so folks, heading back out to the car, I cleared my trade shelf in advance of coming down here today. I'm hoping to come away with a Switch game or two. Who knows, maybe more that we don't have for the collection yet. The unfortunate thing is, pretty much everything on the trade shelf was put there by Editor Riff. You recognize these bad boys here, Riff? This uh, sealed Pilates VHS, this sealed Alley and AJ Adventures a loose kids switch game, a Mary Kate and Ashley, and this is the only actual decent thing and this didn't come from you. <laughs> so you would think I did it to be funny, you know, I'm editor riff. I've kind of been known at this point to make funny jokes with Kale and be funny, but the actual truth is I honestly just don't like the guy. The only upside of having such awful inventory to trade in is just seeing Rick's reaction to it. <laughs> How's it going? All right. Oh man, he's in hyper mode. So Rick, I have a bunch of premium inventory for you, but you have to give me your word that you will buy it all. Okay. And you're not allowed to look at it. What do you mean? Do I just scan it? No, no, you can't. No, you just, you know, you can just look at it. Okay. And just, you, you just have to make me an offer on everything. Okay. I don't want it. <laughs> don't uh oh. <laughs> so, oh my. <laughs> Sealed? It's sealed, dude. Okay. Feeling optimistic, folks. Oh my, I'm, I was in love with that girl when I was a kid. Are these even worth anything? Or are these all just trash? That, I think, was a misprice. I think in reality, it's, there's supposed to be another nine there. It's like a $100 game. This one, all right, let me and play don't up. forget about the $30 credit that I earned at the Plinko. Okay. Oh look, it's Caleb. Hey, also, how much for one of these snazzy stickers? Uh, we, we sell those for 10 cents. No one's ever bought one. Okay, I need you guys' help. Anyone who lives in the Conway area, next time you come in, you need to ask for Pilates for everybody because they're going to have at least one copy for sale. I do want this, though. <laughs> His eyes lit up. We're going to sell this for $7.99. Ooh, a little bit less than the previous store. Looks like somebody got ripped off when he bought that one. <laughs> Hit me, man. We are good for the All Waz collection, uh -huh. the LOL surprise, uh -huh. and this. So the other two, where are the two other items? Oh, these. These, this is the highest I could do. If you want, did you, do you think this, that's okay? This here? Yeah, the rubber bands. For Joke's these. on you, I'm actually low on these. I'll take it. Okay, so those, and then for the weird three games over here, you're looking at $31.61 in credit. $31? Oh, that's right, my neck, my throat. All right, so folks, I have a couple options here. One of them that I know is still on my list, right down here, Crystallis. They have it new for 20 bucks, which seems like a solid deal. The other one that I found on the shelf here is Splatoon 2 for 35, but I'm pretty sure in the system, I still have $12 credit from my massive trade, and I did two nights ago that we didn't quite even out. So I think because this one's a little higher, I may go ahead and go with this. Hey, Caleb, I need that smash. Are you serious, dude? I need that smash button. You've been testing that game for two hours. You know what, Rick, I am happy to confirm with you. Hey, I think it works. That after, after yeah. sufficient testing, right. I can officially say it needs a couple more rounds. Next. All right, so. Next. Next. Hey. Next. Next. Hey. I got one, sir. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> after much this deliberation. Is a game. You own a game store. That's true. All right, $35 just for the case. It's dumb. <laughs> Stupid joke. Far for the course on this channel. This guy's in charge of our punchline, so. Oops. <laughs> okay. No, cut this. That's what cut, you get. cut this. That's what you get for saying that. <laughs> well, no, nothing happened. 
Looks like you owe me $3.68 for Mission Switch. Uh-uh. I had credit on the account for my $3,000 worth of stuff that I traded in. Nope, it's gone. <laughs> Kaboom! Mission Switch! All right, man, the last thing that I wanted to ask you, on a serious note, why? Why do all of this? You had, still have a great job. You have a thriving channel. I think it's every, so especially collector, it's almost every collector's dream to have a video game store. Yeah. And the opportunity presented itself, and I really did feel like the channel, <laughs> I really did feel like the channel needed another piece to the journey. Wow. Of what I was doing. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I've done YouTube for four years now, and it was like, I game hunt and I do that. It's fun, but sometimes it's like, what, what's the next leg of this journey? And right. This, this was it. Yeah, I, I can't, it. I can't imagine a channel that only game hunts and flips stuff. That would be incredibly boring. So. <laughs> <laughs> True. Folks, if you want to see me check out the best video game stores in Texas, check out this video right down here, and I will catch you guys on the flip.